So first and first to dive on deep before we go into anything else, we got some really unfortunate news. This is courtesy of Resident Advisor. Um, New York's Bossa Nova Civic Club closed for the f- notable amount of time after a catastrophic building fire. Um, it just keeps getting from bad to worse for this club. If I'm not mistaken, this is again a club in New York that I'm only familiar with because of the stuff they've done with um, Disc Woman. I know that Frankie from Disc Woman talks about Bossa Nova a lot and I kind of kept my eye on it. And then I started to follow this account on Instagram, I think, which is called like the line at Pissed Bossa Nova or something like that. I think it's something like that, or the queue or the line at Bossa Nova, which is basically some guy or girl that basically jumps down and goes around and records people in the queue there because I guess it's a pretty popular club in that area and there's always a massive queue outdoors. So kind of a little bit of an update, sort of similar to like the Berghain line queue um, Instagram account that people used to where they upload Instagram stories, basically updating you on how long the queue is so you can basically judge when you want to go and when you want to arrive blah 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 so that's how i know the club and um if i'm not mistaken sometime in the beginning of the pandemic maybe when that weird weird i think was it a was it a rain torrential rain or was it a flooding i don't know what it was but you remember during there was a time in new york when people were showing these sharing these videos and pictures of people trying to get to work and the whole flipping subway was flooded and you know there was like people doing door dash and riding their, their bicycles through like you know four foot high pieces of rain and shit just crazy 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 shit so i think that was happening and i think they had a lot of damage at bustle over during that flooding if i'm not mistaken and now on top of that fire like oh jesus man especially during the pandemic too when i'd imagine most places in the world are suffering in terms of getting people in when it comes to especially clubs because you know governments are basically giving clubs a little bit of a black mark in terms of the pandemic because people feel that they're going to catch the virus over there and it's dangerous and all this sort of stuff it's just a, it just must be an unfortunate place so um the subtext says friends are raising funds for the venue after the building sustained extensive water damage so fire and water damage i'm not too sure let's see um so uh two so it said um key brooklyn venue boston over civic club has announced it will close indefinitely following a fire on the building's first floor according to the personal safety network app citizen the fire was reported at 9 p.m local time on january 12th while the blaze didn't reach the ground floor which boss houses busting over the building still enjoyed extensive water damage in other parts of the building one tenant sustained secondary burn injuries to the hand another man's that dog died oh man that is so tragic man the instagram post the club said it's safe to say we will be closed for a notable amount of time the other quote says we will update you soon thank you so much for nine years of support and friendship they're already kind of preempting the the close of it oh god friends of us never organize a go find me page with a goal of raising three hundred thousand to help the venue get back on its feet it says here, yeah, as a quote, uh, I guess it's from the Instagram story of Boston Over. It says, as you may have heard, there was very serious uh, fire on the third floor of the apartment of our building. A tenant was seriously injured and sadly another tenant's dog died. A dog did not survive. The building sustained significant damage and it's safe to say we'll be closed for a notable amount of time. We will update you soon. Thank you so much for any support and friendship. Another thing, it says, the 1,900 square foot club opened in late 2012 at a time when DIY venues were so ubiquitous and illegal parties were a primary area for underground talents. Boston was almost instantly revered by one of new york's few legal few legal venues purveying an elicatic sound countless local djs such as mo moretti and ace um, and ace mo as well as the techno feminist collective desk women have built their careers throughout the intimate club sorry through the intimate club and numerous artists mourned the incident on twitter uh, yeah this is frankie obviously head of this woman saying the following i just got off the phone from john in regards to bossa novi told me the fire was above bossa bossa didn't burn but the water damage and the damage of the whole building means it won't be open for a long time may not open at all but still figuring this out again tragic if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure they had a they damp they it suffered some flooding and now on top of that they suffered flooding again on the back of a fire or maybe it's the same thing but i think it's different i'm pretty sure it's different but let's carry on and was the other building fire in brooklyn too the one that killed all those people i think five people died in something like r.i.p man like crazy isn't it crime is going up up in la i think yeah because of i don't know what's going on there. i guess because of just people are in the hard times and hard times get people to start robbing and stealing and then of course in new york they're just going through what they're going through there obviously with the fires and stuff it's just terrible man it says yeah another post says i love Barcelona so much and hearing that building is caught in the fires breaking my heart i hope everyone's okay another person says space is so tenuous really hoping boss are reopened soon but also a reminder of how difficult it is for underground music scenes to find the stability and put down any kind of long-term special roots so i guess similar to london or no the uk or london mostly is a it's a it's a you just get priced out of it there's good spaces here but just the amount you'd have to pay to find a good space to kid it out and obviously to make sure that it doesn't get closed because of flipping neighbors complaining because if there's one thing about british people especially british people i don't like that's the thing i've realized about uk 
maybe it's the same in New York, I'm not too sure. If, if you're off in New York, let me know. It feels like in the UK, there's a clear divide between people who like to go out, like nightlife people, and people that don't like to go out. And there's no understanding of either side's argument. So if you're in the area, if you make it, if you open a club in an area where most people don't like to, don't like nightlife people or don't like nightlife scene or anything associated with it, they're going to make it their aim to make sure your club closes. But then on the other side, if you are a purveyor of nightlife, you're going to make sure that you make the people around you life a living hell and, you know, you're going to live your life and not going to dim your star whatsoever, which obviously leads to those weird impasses. And most of the time, councils decide to always kind of lean towards the tenants and people that actually live there day to day, um, as opposed to the people who are actually bringing in money to the area, which is ironic, but, you know, we move. It continues to this person says, Bossa really has offered something for everyone in New York City Techno. I had wild nights there when I was younger. I played one of my first NY DJ sets there at Exile. I found solace in the chill weeknights where I would go to dance any time I wanted to go as I got older. Yeah. That's something people don't understand. Like clubs like this, they serve as a kind of local meeting point. They sort of serve like as an adult or like an somewhat adult youth club if that makes sense because those were big here in london too and again i don't know who, what government came in in place who just took those away but there's no denying there's some sort of link especially in london between the fall of the youth centers and then the flipping uprising and peak of flipping knife crime and all that stuff and you know the the, the, the kind of um the what you call it the, the popularity of people getting into gangs or whatnot definitely has something to do with it because most of my time spending when I was growing up was either spent playing football going to some sort of summer school camp thing where you just got to basically fuck around with people that you're your age and obviously going to youth centres which again you get to fuck around with people your age another person says heartbreaking news about Boston over last night keeping everyone's affected in my mind and of course there's a there's a GoFundMe there too that they're trying to raise 300 grand for they're already up close to 100,000 they're at 94,000 uh dollars there so if you can spare a couple of shekels and definitely make sure you check it out i'll put the link to the gofundme for bossa nova's restoration staff and tenant fund in the description of the show so definitely check it out if you're that way inclined um da, 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 so yeah, we're raising the funds to support the staff and bar and tenants so this is from somebody that's not even a touch associated with bossa nova they're just doing it to support them which is flipping awesome sorry um Continue to say, distribution of the funds will be broken down as we approach the goal. The space is a second home for a lot of us and has cultivated many careers, friendships and chosen families. Bossa has endured but survived an extreme amount of adversity during the pandemic, no less. This level of harm needs to fall back into the community. And this is what the community is actually about. When people talk about techno community or dance community, electronic scene community, this is what community actually means. If you actually are somebody that's prominent, that's been able to sustain your career throughout the entire pandemic, especially if you're somebody from the fucking business techno scene and you've been able to, you know, thrive and survive during this time and you actually played there a couple of times, this is where you maybe should throw them a couple of shekels. You know I mean, no one's, no one's telling you how much you should throw them or when you should do it, but this is something you should definitely consider in terms of giving back and actually supporting the quote unquote community because people that are still sort of like, you know, trying to um, resurrect their careers or get themselves back on their feet, they need this space and especially the people that work there because that's something that always kind of breaks my heart when I think of you know I think about how dead it is here in London not dead but the vibe is definitely gone or the vibe is off here in London and then I think of the people who actually work in this industry when it comes to hospitality and nightlife who basically you know support themselves through tips and you know just you know getting as many gigs as they can or working double shifts and stuff and now these weekends are completely dead like there are no double shifts um the all night of the all night parties have done I've not really heard many people talking about warehouse graves anymore like it's a completely different vibe and I just feel so sad you know what I mean for those people because it feels like that's never going to come back or if it is going to come back it's going to come back when people are legitimately not afraid to go outdoors anymore because unfortunately like I said before governments the world over have basically made clubs and any place that you kind of congregate in a big group of people they've made that the enemy of flipping you know civility they've made it the enemy of flipping progress because essentially if you go to those kind of places you're basically telling yourself that you might get COVID and all that stuff blah 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 blah. but yeah um support Boston Nova Civic Club um again the place that I've always went to visit haven't got a chance to unfortunately you know the last time I went to New York was in like what 2010 or something way before it opened at that time I didn't even know there was a techno scene that big or that could support a club of that ilk there anymore to be honest I think at the time I went I was mostly going to I think I might have went to that Afropunk. I think I might have went to some hardcore shows. 
and I think that might be it. And I think I might have went to like um what's that place called? Um oh that place is like three or five floors and they have loads of music for it's cool. I think I don't think it's open anymore, but it's like a legendary New York place where you'd go and it had like five floors. It'd be like they'd be like um you know, they'd be like um I don't know. They'd be like uh what's that word called? They'd be like reggaeton on one floor, hip hop on one contemporary i don't know i forgot the place what it was called but it's a really famous venue a lot of people perform at too i went there once but yeah like the comp the scene over there especially new york is really thriving there's a lot of great record stores a lot of great people that are doing great things and again one of the main spots that they always kind of speak about you hear them mention is bossa nova so if they can if people can rally around and lend their support in some way shape or form that'd be awesome oh, awesome to see red bull family donated three grand yeah so let's just keep it up and hopefully that happens and people are able to support and you know and slowly but surely boston ever can get back on their feet because it's needed now more than ever man needed now more than ever